Hey, feels nice. Sounds well, doesn't it? Does right. sound sick. Yeah. Oh, we got a bridge coming up. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have got a pretty cool video. We've got Jack. How's it going? From what? Is it? Leave me hanging. <laughs> Didn't see that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, look at all the shit on me lens and that man. <laughs> so we are in the middle of a storm, aren't we, lad? We are. What's it called? Do you know what it's called? U Eunice. Or Eunice. Universe. Ah, so. Look at that. Can you see that? Or is that on my screen? Let's back up. Okay, so we've got a fresh video today. Jack's being kind enough, and he's letting me do a review slash just check it out. Basically, a car checkout on his Audi S1, which is bagged, which you've owned for how many years? Uh, three now. Three, three years. years. Yeah. Three years he's owned it. Every time I've come to this place, Detail Garage Preston, behind us over here. Excuse me, me van tailgate is absolutely smashed in over there, so <laughs> we're not we're not gonna focus on that, are we, lad? No. So, what we're doing today is I'm just showing you another car. The last video I did with Travis Autos on his caddy van did really, really, really good. So, I thought it'd be quite cool to do another car check today. So, we've got Jack's bagged Audi S1, and we're going to have a quick walk around, a drive, a listen to the exhaust, and a few bits like that. So, it's going to be a good afternoon. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get involved in the comments if you've got any car check ideas. If you know someone with a crazy car, the wind's so bad. My hands are freezing. So, just doing a quick little walk around, showing them the beast. It's insane, lad. I love it, mate. Before we get into this car check, I wanted to make sure... This is a fucking joke. <laughs> Before we get into this car check, I wanted to remind each and every one of you watching the video right now, you get a free t-shirt with every single owner hoodie. Link is in the description. Go and support the brand, get involved. You've got loads of hoodies, loads of tees, air fresheners, stickers, loads of bits. Make sure you add your favorite t-shirt to your basket and you'll get it for free when you're buying any hoodie on the store. Check it out. Let's get into it. I'd like to be the star of today's show. I'm absolutely freezing. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely freezing. All right, um, so can I, can, I, can I point out a few bits and you can tell us about them? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. So, what size are your wheels? Uh, 18s. 18s? Yeah. 18s. And did you buy the wheels brand new? Yes, I did. Did you, yeah? And they were a fortune. They were, how much were they? Uh, just over a grand, grand just 100, something like that. What, just for the rims? Yeah, yeah, no tyres. And then tyres? Tyres as well. What tyres are you sporting? Uh, Pilot Sport 4s. Pilot Sport 4s. 35 profile. And then, we, we've just, found, yeah, it's written on here, look. Four, well, there you go. There you HLT formula. <laughs> I bet you uh, never even seen there. that, did you? No. We was looking inside then, weren't we? What they were. Yeah. I don't even remember. There what as well, HLT. Oh, yeah. yeah, the name's on them, so don't worry you about like it. You like them more now, don't you? Yeah. Now that you know what it says. Silver's coming back. Silver is coming Bring back. Bring silver back. These are insane to be fair. So they're OZ Racing HLT Formula HLT. This is like a fake centre lock, is it? Yeah. But you pay £1,100, you get a real carbon fibre sticker to put on your centre <laughs> cap. Is that what it is? Sticker? Cheers, LZ, yeah. Nice. We can see airlines. You can see air ride hoses in the back in there. I love this thing, mate. Alright, so what have you done to the front end of the car? Um, so, RS style grille, um, Quattro badge removed. Um, I sometimes take it off, sometimes put it back on, but at the moment it's off. Um, TRC, we've got a splitter kit all the way around the car. Um, shout out to those because it's good stuff. Um, and then obviously we've got this little um, lid here. I don't know what that's called, but it's not stock, but you've basically got to add this so it adds that's a bit of shape sick, isn't it? that. So, yeah. um, it's got daytime runners as well, hasn't it? Yeah, daytime runners, little flick. I've had all my grills done, gloss black to match the grill. Um, so yeah, just, just tidy it up a bit. That's pretty crazy, that little extent, little extension lip. Yeah, yeah. Never seen that before. 150 quid, then. It was what? 150 quid. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Man. And then the TRC splitter on the bottom. Yeah. Nice, nice. 
And what about the paint? Has anywhere been painted on the car? Um, yeah, so when I bought it, full end, uh, front end respray and then uh, PPF protected the day after. So, oh, so that's but, currently PPF? Yeah, yeah, that was about uh, just over a grand and a half in a day. So. Check you out, lad. Oh, no, it's not good, lad. Check Don't buy out, cars. Lad. Don't buy cars. Don't buy cars. And what about last? What's this sticker saying? So this, I did a, it was a little bit of a collaboration with uh, Daywood UK. Um, they sell these on like posters and stuff. And I basically, I thought it was funny, cool. So, and uh, show season was coming up, so I contacted them. They said, yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, put it on the side, and it gets laughs, and that's all I want. So, yeah. um, as long as people are laughing and smiling at it, that's I don't care. Do you know what I mean? Bagged. It looks pretty good though. <laughs> it's, right, it's just tucked in it. So. Tucked nice. I like it. I do love an S1. To be fair, yeah. I do love an S1. I like the spoiler. Yeah, so I actually added that on. It was um, aftermarket. Buy that. It's carbon fibre, and then get it painted. Um, Did you? Yeah. So yeah, that was. I actually prefer it than on my Golf R. I've got a carbon one. All right. Yeah. I've never thought to paint it gloss black, but that is yeah. a. I don't know. I, I, I didn't have any carbon on it, so yeah, having didn't. it gloss black, it fitted in. So this is Jack's Instagram x one dot media. Yeah. Where they can get involved. You do you do photography, graphic design. Yeah. Anything? Graphic design, photography, video, anything. Open to open to work. Yeah, hundred percent. Sweet. Yeah, give me a shout. Sweet. Oh, this is his reg if you want to report him. To <laughs> <laughs> so you've debadged it. Yeah, debadged. Kept the S1 so people don't think it's an A1. Why would you not want? To nothing think it's annoys an A1? me more than that. Um, <laughs> yeah, just debadged. I've got another one ready to go back onto it whenever I get bored of it being debadged. But yeah, just cleans it up. I think. I don't know. It's. Uh, I don't know, it just looks nice and clean. You've got to change stuff up, haven't you? Otherwise you get bored of your car, so... Yeah. Uh, and then is the rear diffuser standard, or is that extra? Rear diffuser is usually plastic, again, been painted gloss black. Um, we've had my reflectors tinted a bit, and then obviously the TRC uh, little spats, I think they're called, on the rear, something like that. What about the rear lights? Um, yeah, so standard, been tinted. Um, I've coded it, though, so the DRLs are always on. Um, so when the fronts are on, the rear's on. So that's it looks kind of cool. Um, just looks a bit more aggressive. Yeah, that's pretty sick, isn't it? Um, Slammed, isn't it? Yeah, it's alright. It's Slammed. not as low as it could be, but... Um, and, and then rear tints, was it already tinted? Yeah, that's all standard. Nothing on the front. Standard um, glass, obviously you've got these little deflectors. Yeah, little wind deflectors. They're pretty sick. I bought those so I could... Um, have my windows down in the rain. So you could smoke the hair out the window no, whilst driving? No, definitely not. Like. <laughs> um, so caught in the act, lad? <laughs> no, no, no. So, um, so obviously I could drive in the rain, you could put your window down a bit, but it actually just makes rain piss in, so yeah, yeah don't buy them I'm if you're sure buying it for that. Them. Yeah, I don't know. You must have done this, however. It's the first mod I did, actually. Was it? Yeah, first mod I did. I'm not out. saying that's a mod at all. Whilst we're there, we forgot a mod. Oh. We forgot a mod. Shout out to the boy, <laughs> Daniel. DanielWipers.com. You've got, um, to get, you've got to get a wiper delete. What about side skirts? Side skirts, TLC, all part of the same kit, yeah. all um, fiberglass, so when you hit them, they don't crack, they shave down. So that's why I say TLC, because um, uh, they last way longer, and if you do break it, you can repair it, it's not plastic. Yeah. So. TLC there, side skirts, little extensions at the back, all matches and marries up with the splitter on the front.
you're saying on the air ride? Yeah, so uh, I've got um, so cool. <laughs> I've got um, Air X um, all built in this box um, by Tequila Fever. Shout out to them. Those guys are in South Wales, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, it's all nice in the box. Uh, red. What do you call that? Race. Um, I think it's like a. I think yeah. it's just a. Uh, it's like a. It's just for show purposes. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's not a strut bar or anything. It's, it's like just a uh, real carbon fibre with the red netting. Uh, JC Customs did them. Um, JC Club Sport. Club Sport, that was it, yeah, not customs, yeah. Um, yeah, the sound guy sorted me out like next day, so yeah, it was really good. And then obviously the rear seat delete as well. Yeah, rear seat deletes nice. Tidies it up quite nice. In an S1 you need a rear seat delete, don't you? Yeah, there's no room in the back one. This is crazy then, so how do you plumb this in? Just into its put into its hose yeah, inside? Yeah, so I was pretty lazy with these to be fair. Um, I'll, I'll, eventually I probably would get them done, but... Um, so, as you can see, it's plumbed the sides in here. What's going on with the air box then? an easy install yeah pretty easy this is the only thing that bothers me with airx is the fact that the wires come out the side um but again nothing you can do will get tidied up eventually but you know it is what it is for now yeah yeah um, it's mad the way it all comes built in in the kit like that yeah that's crazy so inside you've got all the manifold and the wire and you've got the compressor yeah compressors on the left you've got your tank and obviously your uh your manifold on the right and then obviously your release is outside so you can hear it because you've got yeah. a bit of the does that make it a bit quieter as well if the compressor's inside that box? Yeah, yeah, that's that's one thing I really like about it, because it's all, it's all carpeted, it's, you're not hearing the buzz all the time, so yeah. bit of a bonus, yeah. No, no, Nothing no. that's going to incriminate you in this vehicle? Nothing, officer. Seats are quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, nice and comfy. I didn't go, um, obviously you can get the Quattro part, which got like the uh, the sport back seats, like the plastic back. Um, yeah. but well, you can big, get them, yeah. We're a big fan of them, so I went with these. Yeah, the um, seat delete looks good for me as well. Yeah, yeah, needs a clean, but you know. Don't work in a detail in place or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, not much done on the inside. I've got the uh, sort of suede wheel cover. Um, Feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah, so that was done by um, Wheel Finesse, I think they call it. Yeah, do you put that on yourself? Yeah, yeah, so it comes um, all cut to fit and then you just stitch it yourself. It's really easy. It comes um, all in a box, instructions, needle, thread, all that stuff. Um, comes pre-cut and then you literally just put it over your wheel, stitch it up yourself, super easy. It's and it easy, transforms yeah. it as well, it's so yeah, much nicer than leather. And it's a manual? Manual, yeah. Nice, you're a manual type of guy. 100%. Analog type of guy, yeah. Analog, yeah. Never owns a DSG? No. Would you? Mm -mm. In a, mm. Getting depends lazy. what car. Getting lazy, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> if I got like a big, if I got like a Range Rover, maybe. Are you getting a Range Rover? Yeah, I I've get... heard in the grapevine you've been looking at Ranges. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I actually heard you've been looking at me. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> um, big cars, I don't mind auto. Small little nippy cars like this, designed for manual. So, manual. I yeah. like um, I like how the red stitching's carried out throughout the whole vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's one thing I liked about the wheel when you customise it, cause you can have it however you want. So, yeah. red stitching on the seats, obviously, the um, you've got it on the handbrake, gear knob, got it on the wheel. So, yeah. On the nice set. little theme going on everywhere, so. Yeah, man. Got to keep it, keep it. Auto canceled. automatic headlights should be standard these days. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, your standard pedals. Mate, I've got to be honest. For someone who works for Chemical Guys, it's not the cleanest. I know. I get lazy in winter. Yeah. You can't keep your car clean for two I days. I guess when you're winter. doing it for a living, you get a bit bored of it, don't you? But I like these as well. Trav's got these in his van. Yeah, yeah. They're smart. Yeah, man, it's nice. And then the little nice pop-up screen as well. It. Yeah. Pops down, that. pops up, there you go. Love that. Pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, uh, got the bows as well, don't forget the yeah, bows. Bose, full, full oh. Bose sound system. Yeah, insane. Like yeah. the best speak system I've ever heard, ever. No it's so good. You love it, don't you? Love it. You keeping it forever? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> little Quattro stamp of approval there. Quattro! Quattro! Django! Right, six, should we go and do some exhaust noises and then take it for a spin? Let's go for it, yeah. My G, thanks for doing the review with me today. Oh, no worries. Like a car check, more so. There yeah. you go. Just checking I'm all legal. Yeah, man. Love an S1, oh, mate. You gotta show that. What? What is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Owner air fresheners. Wait, what? Constantly, <laughs> constantly got thousands. So I'll probably have a headache by the end of today because there's about 15 air fresheners. So in the good, door. honestly. It smells so good. Alright, cool. We'll go and do some exhaust checks. Let's do it. And then and then we'll carry on. 100 percent So it. That's your eye, it? Yeah. Right. Should we do some exhaust noises? Go for it. How, how high I'm you not gonna... getting out? No, I'll get out, but <laughs> how high are you gonna take it up the rev range? What do you want? As far as it goes. Okay. <laughs> Could you do that? Yeah. Okay. You're putting fuel in it. 
How much fuel is in it? How <laughs> I'm joking. Do you want me to? No. I'll put some fuel in for the review though. All right, I want like, I want a solid 60 seconds of exhaust noises. Not straight, you can, you can simmer it a bit. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, should we just test one first? Yeah, test. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Sounds sick. Cheers. Wasn't Matt pop on that, wasn't it? Mm. In the middle of one of them yeah, then. Every so often it just starts to uh... spit a crazy one out. Yeah. Can I can I drive it from Detail Garage? Because I know the roads. Mm -hmm. And I'll go like out to the roundabout and then I'll go up towards Preston and back. Yeah. Like by the end of Capital One. Yeah. Because yeah. I know them roads, you see. Will you be beaming it or not? <laughs> well, what will I be beaming it? Yeah. Well, the road's 60, isn't it? And I'm in an S1, so I want to be doing 60. <laughs> Holy! Holy shit. You're on camera. I know. Don't want to do anything that would incriminate you. I won't. Never do. Never do. I like that. That was smooth, lad. Hello. Right, so we can at least chat now properly. Yeah. Without the wind. So where can we go where we can do some exhaust noises? People would really appreciate that, I think. Um, 50 miles to empty, is it bad on fuel? No. What to do to I just never fill Let's it see up. what your average your average miles per gallon is. No, you don't want to incriminate me like that, are you? What stage is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Who you <laughs> hey, feels nice. Sounds well, doesn't it? It does sound sick. Yeah. Bit of a pop to it. It's got a bit of a burble, hasn't it? Yeah. Has it got um Jeez. I've never really heard it. Every time I've come and seen you, I've left before. Yeah, yeah. No, it sounds good. Yeah. Most people are pretty surprised how quick this car is. It's like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. surprisingly quick. Whoop. Sounds sick. I wonder if they can hear it on there, I bet they can. Probably. No back seats. So you've owned the car three years? Yeah, three years now, yeah. Three years. And About. did you how many years did you own it before you put air ride on it? Um two. Two years you had yeah, a year. Yeah. A year in like track stamps. Yeah, I went for the um the sporty look at first. So I had some um spaces. Spaces. I had bowler B nines on it in like a gold colour. Yeah, that's pretty good, sick. Yeah, they yeah, look, yeah. look decent. Um, what are B nines like again? A B nines. I think they were B nines. B nines just, the big um, star one. They're kind of, yeah, they're kinda of like these oh, that I've got now, just a bit less um Italian. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, it was on spaces, um, H and R while we were in Springs, so it was. Uh, yeah, it was, it was nice, and it's it corners like nothing as well. Um, so yeah, no, it was good. But yeah, I don't know. You got to change it up. It's like I said before. It's for me. If I keep a car stock, I get bored of it. Yeah, you'll know. know. Like, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Getting yeah. through cars, and then you've got to do bits to them, especially if you're into it. What made you get air ride? Instagram, bro. <laughs> Instagram's Cloud a Hunter. bad influence. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, during you just see, like, all it takes is one picture of a car on air ride for me to go. That'll well, do. I was the same, but That'll once you bought it, you never go back, do no. you? Could I can't you... imagine getting into a car now without it. Yeah. I'd yeah. be looking for my remote, trying to wear it off. Like, where is your remote? Yeah. There. No way. It's a pretty mad remote, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite cool. Obviously, I'm not going to press anything we are on the Look at his remote. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Air X remote. Mm. Sick, that. 
Um, so you put your air ride on. Did you get your air ride put on your set? Did you put your air ride on or did you no, get it installed? No, I got it put on. Yeah, Quirky, Quirky Classics. Classics. Yeah. Shout out to Adam at Quirky Classics. But yeah, Adam really helped me out. Oh, what's he's broken down right in the middle of the... In the transit van. What a nightmare. Yeah. Okay, it's fast, isn't it? Bridge coming up, Ready? just do like a little bridge, overrun bridge. in the bridge. Ready? <laughs> Would you consider yourself as an Aspo? No. You wouldn't? No. Not until I get with you. <laughs> oh, what was that? A branch. A branch? We'll check that on the video. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. I've got a spare splitter anyway, it doesn't matter. This is quick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you ever get a bagged car, or a low car, always have a spare splitter ready to go on the Yeah, front. yeah. It's true. Um, it is actually true. I've got true. a brand new one ready at home for moments like that, where branches like to pop out in the middle of the road. Are you nervous right now? To look? Yeah. No, no. It's pretty noisy though, wasn't it? It was noisy. Hey, this is a sick car park. It is, but it's pain to display. Oh, so I'm just going to get out and check that I'm not ruining my front bumper. Girls, isn't it? How do you know? They're all new after girls. Really? Yeah. Nah, one was called Storm Boris. Shit. <laughs> Look at the S1. He's a pocket rocket, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Is that another branch? <laughs> that was another branch. Hey, the depths you're going to for me, me car review oh, today. No. The manual box, man. You can't beat an Audi manual feeling gearbox. No. Yeah, Sturdy as anything. I do like that wheel, finesse wheel. Yeah, it's nice. Suede. A manual. Do you reckon I'll even be able to drive a manual? We'll find out. We will, won't we? Should have stole it on purpose. No. <laughs> Please don't. Does it feel weird being I really wish I cleaned this car. Yeah, you should have cleaned it. I know. It's a disgrace, lad. I did ask it, you said no. It's a disgrace for a detailer. He's <laughs> supposed to like be a representation. I give in winter. I give up. Hey, where did you get your carbon key? Um, did it come with it? Amazon. Isn't it? It's not real. Ain't it? Oh, oh, oh! Manual. Right, the S1. Harry's gonna stall it, mate. Do you think? <laughs> Feels a bit like my car. I don't know how much I can lock it. What well, reason me that you're saying yours like full lock it scrubs? Does it? Yeah. What's it scrub? The actual arch? Well, the, the inner arch? Inside of the arch. Yeah, not the outside of the arch. I was going to say, the outside would be drastic. Yeah, nah. I've never, never touched that. Right, we ready? It does feel weird being a passenger. Does it? Yeah, I've never, I've never really done this. Porsche. The oh, box. The box. Feels smooth. Feels like it's been ragged. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> It is cleaning on, it's like fluffing it. It does, doesn't it? I'm going to have to get a shower after this. I know, decontaminating. <laughs> decontaminating and clay barring. Gearbox feels nice, feels so much different than my car. In what way? Oh my god. Hey, it's got some bang on it, hasn't it? Yeah. When it gets warm and you hit the, hit the limit, it's... Uh... Induction's pretty, pretty throaty. Yeah, is this yeah. a 2 litre? Yeah, yeah. It's a Golf R engine. Yeah, S3 as well. Golf R S3 engine, mm. Jesus. It's just uh, slightly detuned, obviously smaller turbo. So are your daytime runners on right now or off? Yes, yeah, so if you have it off, your daytimes are on the front and the back. Got you. So it's I'm like up all the way around, really. No way, man. It's crazy. Go like this now. What? Holding the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly. All right, Audi S1. Get out the first. Jeez. A bit crusty on the manual, aren't I? Like, 
like you feel a part of the car because it's like it's like the size of me and you me and you do well in cars <laughs> like this don't we how tall are you <laughs> here he is <laughs> here he is how tall are you mind that branch how tall are you i'm like five seven i think i'm like five eight <laughs> It's like a friend. It's a, yeah, it can, mate, I, I hear you. I, I build connection to inanimate objects, especially cars. This bangs like crazy. No, I'm with you. I think my car's given me more emotional support than a lot of people. Yeah. Well, it's always on your side, isn't it? He's dropped his window though, so he must like it. Yeah, yeah. Now he got 30 mile, that was the fastest five mile disappearance we've ever seen in my life. It will be when you're doing that. But it does 60 to the gallon, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see if it does it, see if it does it. Look at what you could do one. The R32. Anyone with a Mark V or Mark IV R32, I want to do a car check, get involved. Do you know anyone I should do a car check with? Um, <clears throat> Call them out right now, lad. Well, it's a bit different. Yeah. You look different. You love you love a bit of that, don't you? Is that why you went for an S1? It's a bit different. You don't see them. That's why I went for uh, them. Ah, quick, aren't they're, they? They're, they're quite rare and you don't see them about. So this is the Air X version of Air. <laughs> like an internal exhaust? Yeah, it is, it's internal, yeah. The big floors come out of shape. If you ever get one of them, nail screw it down. Together. Yeah, screw it together. Yeah, I need to screw mine together. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna take my back seats back out and do it. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I love that. Yeah. It's so well fitted as well, considering it's ordered online, do you know what I mean? It's not custom made or anything. Uh, but yeah. Sick, innit? What a rig. Hyped on this, mate. That's probably going to be the end of our, our sowed, isn't it? Yeah. Our sowed to sowed. It's been good. Yeah, it's been good. It's been Apart mellow. from the branch. Been mellow, hasn't it? Been mellow. Nice and mellow. Cool, man. Right, that's going to be the end of today's car check. I hope you enjoyed the Audi S1. Make sure you get involved in the comments with any other car check ideas. Anyone you want me to meet, any cars you want me to review, drive, experience, get involved in the comments below. Don't forget, free t-shirt with every single owner hoodie is our current owner deal. And the link is in the description to support my brand and get involved with the clothing and stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.